Hello guys, Answer Britain here. Today I'm bringing you an update, number 5th update on Belethius Flavus Colony for YouTube. And as you can tell from the appearance on the screen and the title of the video, we've got an extra queen into the colony. And in this video I'm just going to explain how I introduced it, why I introduced it and just a general update on the whole colony while it's tipping it down outside so if you can hear the rain in the background it's been really really noisy and uh, it's really not good weather today but anyway I will now be uploading every week on a Friday as it is time for ants um, you can see them uh, really getting some action and we've got a lot of more brood they've got a lot more larvae now it's starting to warm up but today don't really show that but oh well hopefully it will actually start to warm up soon all my colonies are now awake anyway I've been awake for about three weeks so yeah we're now I'm now going to talk about guys how I introduced the queen into this colony which has lasted probably probably getting close up to nearly a year now probably probably a few months away from a year old I haven't really expanded much of a year and probably because of my accident and I wasn't able to look after them as much as I would have but hopefully they'll expand now that I've got another egg machine later now what I did and I look in through all my colonies after hibernation I noticed that all the workers are gone and that she has eaten all of her eggs so I decided instead of taking some eggs out of another colony to introduce her into this colony and see what the reaction was um, I couldn't film it because my um, video recorder was actually charging up my camera was charging up so I couldn't record it it would have been good to but I'm sorry didn't have enough charge on it to be able to but yeah what I did though is I put the colony all of it just the whole test tube into the fridge for two minutes so I kept on checking on them every about 30 seconds to make sure they weren't freezing to death um because that wouldn't have been good that would have been a bit of a uh, more of an interesting update to give you but um yeah and then they're all asleep I introduced the queen who was also asleep and uh, when they all woke up, they just acted as uh, they were nothing different, which was really, really good. They didn't even start fighting or picking on her or anything. Really good. And I've also found out that um, that queen had one of its antenna removed when I was looking at it the other day. So um, I don't know why that is. She may have eaten it. I'm not entirely sure so you might be able to spot out that queen there but yeah they're all settling down together it's been really good there's a lot more eggs I've noticed that there's been a big hit off in the egg production lately probably because out of hibernation so I can't wait for them to turn into larvae we've got larvae already hopefully soon they'll pupate and turn into workers and um there's a few ants trying to escape here, I'll pick them up after us, but don't worry about that. There has been a few more workers into the colony, because there were about two pupae, they've hatched. And uh, there's a lot of larv larvae, as I've already said. But yeah, um, this is the colony I'm going to focus on over the uh, next few weeks of my YouTube. I'm also going to be doing some factual videos about what our nuptial flights going in really in depth about them as well and um, I'm gonna have a big announcement probably uh, the next video next Friday um, and you will need to watch that because if you recall some of your ant colonies then I'll be telling you what you can be doing with them if you want to so yeah As I was saying um, before, I feed them some honey every day, a blob of honey, they eat that. And I give them a bit of mealworm, which it looks like they've already had today. 
So yeah, I always uh, make sure I've always got enough water in the test tube. The test tube isn't getting mouldy, and yeah. I'm not going to move in, um, by the way, just to give you an update about uh, the ant kit products I got, the formicariums. I'm not going to move any of my colonies into there yet until they are 50 workers, maybe even more strong. I think the first one to move in will be this colony, hopefully. And uh, when they do, I will give you another update. And uh, maybe when uh, we get a lot more egg production, I'll give you another update on this colony. But yeah, that's going to do it with this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want other people to watch this series on YouTube, make sure you share this video, share the playlist as well, and like the video. It really does help. Any feedback, comments really appreciated. Tell me about your personal ACS Fabulous Colonies in the comments below as well. That would be also very much appreciated. And it will be very interesting as well. So uh, until next time, guys. Ciao for now.